Smack em a Gob. It is another Dennis Turney Jr. track by track album battle. And this time he wants me to put Rush, Caressive Steel versus Pink Floyd's Wish You Were Here. All right, Dennis and Melissa, play along, all right? All right, we got the first song, Bastille Day versus Shine On You Crazy Diamond. Man, I love them both, but I gotta go with Rush, man. Bastille Day kicks so much ass that it does kick Shine On Your Crazy Diamond's ass. I'm sorry, that's how I feel. And I do dig Shine On Your Crazy Diamond. I just think it takes too long to get started. I don't like that long keyboard intro. Rest in peace, Richard Wright. All right, next, I think I'm going Bind versus Welcome to the Machine. Easily Pink Floyd. Welcome, my son. That song just rules. Wins. All right, next. Lakeside Park versus Have a Cigar. You know what, man? I love Lakeside Park, but I got to give it to hats off to Roy Harper. You know what I'm saying? You all know what I'm saying if you know what I'm saying. I'm going with uh, Have a Cigar. All right, next. The Necromancer versus Wish You Were Here. The most painful one of them all because Necromancer is my favorite song off Caress and Steel. It's a long ass masterpiece. I'm going with Pink Floyd though. Wish You Were Here is one of the greatest songs ever written, period. It hurts, but I gotta give it to Pink Floyd. All right, the end, the last one, The Fountain of Lemayeth. Versus Shine On, you know, part two. I'm going with The Fountain of Lemayeth. Another great long-ass masterpiece. I like Necromancer more, but The Fountain of Lemayeth, Lemayeth is awesome. So, Dennis Turney Jr., this was a very short one. You know, it's only what? Let's see, one, two, three, four. It's only five songs. And this is the final score. And as you can see, it's almost a tie. Three to two. Not bad. But yeah, they're both amazing albums. I love them both, but that's how I roll. How do you roll? Leave it in the comments below how you roll. How would you rank Caress and Steel versus Wish You Were Here? Leave it in the comments below. I love reading stuff like that. And, uh, oh, and please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. And if you have subscribed to my channel, please check to see if you're still subscribed. Because some people are getting unsubscribed for no reason. I get comments even from today saying, dude, I got unsubscribed to your channel again. Sucks, man. People get unsubscribed. They subscribe and they get unsubscribed again. So please keep checking because I need you. I love you. Subscribe to my channel, please. And uh, ring that little notification bell. And uh, stay frosty. Like the video. It's good for the YouTube algorithms. Listen to Black Sabbath. And smack them a gob.